Get ready for fun. Get ready for laughs. Get ready to have a great day. Live from the KHOU 11 studios, it's Great Day Houston. And now here's your host, Deborah Duncan. everybody. When it comes to talent, Houston has produced many great entertainers. When I first moved here, everyone was talking about this one girl group in particular. Well, the original name of the group was Girls Time. They would later become Destiny's Child and quickly put up four number one hits, including Bugaboo and Bills, Bills, Bills. One of the original members who helped perform those hits is our first guest this morning. Please welcome Grammy Award winning artist Latavia Robertson. Good morning. Good morning. teenager oh my gosh, it was what, almost 20 years ago something yeah. like that right <laughs> yes oh my gosh 15 years old at the time yes wow all yes. right so we know where people end up we don't necessarily know how they got there oftentimes yes. so let's revisit that story okay. uh being in the business is probably kind of a normal thing for you to kind of segue into because you started out you were a model a child model yes i was I, my career actually started at seven years old, six. I used to do a lot a, of modeling. A career at seven. I mean, <laughs> hey, the Wikipedia freaked me out when I saw it. I didn't realize how, you know, how far away back yeah. um, mine started. Yeah. Um, I did commercials and a lot of print work. I was signed with Sherry Young Modeling Agency here in Houston. So I used to do a lot of oh, print really? work and all this. I know, right? <laughs> For 10 years, I was on the cover of that box. So Just for crazy. me, the, the cream relaxer. Yes. <laughs> yes. For your, for your hair no, there. I conditioned and relaxed the cream. Yes. <laughs> so you did the commercials, but you also you, you, you acted, you danced, you, you kind of did everything. Yes, I did. I did. And through my modeling agency, I got an audition to um, audition for a group, um, with girls of all nationalities. They mm -hmm. just, these three ladies wanted to form a group and just wanted it to be, you know, like a sisterhood and everything. So I tried out. Um, that's the day that I met Beyonce and I made the auditions that day. And after going through about 1,700 members and, <laughs> and 1,200 name changes, Destiny's Child, Child was born. <laughs> Finally, yeah, right, because it was girls time at first. Kelly to the group. Yes, yes. We actually went to Briar Grove Elementary and Aww. I met her there. She was in the fourth grade. I was in the third grade. And she was singing Barbies in her in her closet at her mom's house. She was singing Barbies. <laughs> she was singing Whitney Houston and we were playing Barbies. Barbies. Oh, and I was like, oh no, my gosh. I always love you. Oh my I always gosh. love you too, She was girl. singing I'm okay. Your Baby Tonight. Oh, and oh, oh. she sounded phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. I was like, at what age was that? Oh my, right. <laughs> yeah. She loved Whitney Houston though yeah, so much. a lot of us did. And yeah. so I was like, you have to come and try out for our group. And she did. And it's oh. interesting how it all kind of just falls together. Yes. Right? And then uh, you all were on Star Search we were. as Girls Time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when you see that video, you see that right there. Yes. Does that seem like it was so long ago? Do you feel like that was yes. just yesterday? It, well, yes and no. Oh my, look at me. Oh yes, my gosh, girl. what is that? Yes. You got some moves there for like an eight year old girl. I was rapping. <laughs> That's, that's pretty cool. Oh, but yeah, goodness. does it seem like a long time ago or a whole other lifetime it, ago? It seems like another lifetime ago, of course. Yes, I, I think so. Yep. <laughs> okay, you released your first self-titled album, including uh, No, No, No. Yes. And tell us um, to do that yourself with a self-title. Yes, it was self-titled. It was our first album. We thought mm -hmm. that it was suiting for it. Yeah. Um, Vincent Herbert, um, Tamar Braxton's husband, actually wrote No, right. No, No. Um, we loved that song. And then Wyclef remixed it. And... Um, then that was just the thing that... Is that, that the that, moment where you... Th look at those outfits. Is I, that... Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, Sunshine no, let's do it. King's Flea yeah. Market. <laughs> King's Flea Market. <laughs> First, you know, so that, that self-titled <laughs> album. Um, a lot of folks, especially at that time, it wasn't mm -hmm. as easy to put together an album as it is today. Did you think you had made it then? Well, we, when we heard the song on the radio, we yes. thought we made it, but we knew that we weren't all the way out the woods yet because we were like, okay, we, we just have to see how it goes. And then everybody just took on us, which was such a blessing. Yeah. Um, I, all our praying and being together. Well, I remember it, when you it, came it, to, to it, my it, show at the time, you were kind of in flux right there. Yes. It was, it was, you try to figure out what to do, how yes. to get to that next level. But yes. let's let's talk about this a little bit because I have so many people who tell me uh, they want to get an album out mm -hmm. or they want to, you know, they're, they're trying to make it to that big yes. level. And they forget that there's more to it than just talent. It is. There's a whole business component it there. It is. There's luck that, that's there. Yes, and, and the business side of it is something that a lot yeah. of people 
seem to forget um, for sure. A lot of people think that we just bust on the scene because No 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 came out and, and here it comes was the millions, so great. Right? But it took us eight years to get a record deal. Yeah. So that's why I always tell people, just make sure you're passionate. And especially nowadays, it's it's harder, but it's easier. Right. Um, There's more opportunities, more avenues, but yes, it's harder. The, the yeah. music industry is nothing like it was back when we were in the music, yeah. West of the music industry. So and then came the other issue was the big breakup. Yes. And uh, there was, you know, several stories have been told. I've gotten yes. that story from Beyonce. I've gotten mm -hmm. it from Kelly. Uh, gotten it from Latoya. Mm -hmm. So your perspective on when that fell apart. Um, it, all of our issues, uh, well, mine and Latoya's issues was with management. It had yeah. nothing to do with us as a girls. You liked up. each other. Yeah. Yes, we, we, were, we loved each other. We were sisters. Sisters have sisterly spats or anything. We weren't fighting and pulling out hair and all that. That was yeah. never the case with us. <laughs> it was never that. Um, yeah, but, I remember talking to Beyonce and her, her, what she said basically, it was hurt. It was. It was, it was devastating to even have to do it. Um, the management was not trying to be fired. We were trying to add business management yeah. to management to protect everyone, and that was it. And so it was a decision to release us. Yeah. And so it is what it is. It's nothing that we can do about it. Right. It's, well, what you can't take yeah. away is that you oh, had, yeah. you know, eight, eight times platinum on 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 writings on the wall yeah. and Grammy, Soul Train Awards. Yeah. That will never go away. Absolutely. All right. So at that point, we all went your separate ways. Yes. Where did you go? Um, I went to Atlanta, and um, in Atlanta, I. I started my life over again, you know, we had to go through lawsuit and everything. I just started living my life. I was, um, I was fine, but then I started being, um, depressed. Yeah. Um, of course, it's I was, like of a course, of a it's like a, it's like a, a yeah. bad divorce. Yeah. And, um, it wasn't so much, um, everything being about the group, but I had a real life, you know, my childhood started to come into play. Um, mm -hmm. the lack of my father being there all the time, things were going on with my mother and I, I was molested by my stepfather oh. and all that. So life started to take toll on me. Well, and it's, I, it's front and center now. You yes, can't, you know, with can't. the glitz and glamour, you can kind of get away from yes, some things, you can. right? But then your true self is there yes, that you have to deal there, with. And you have your own four walls. And it's like, wow, I don't have my sisters anymore. Because it's hard to make friends when you're out in that industry. Right. And, you know, it's, it's just hard. So it was, it was a rough time for me. Um, I turned to substances to, to <laughs> cope substances. with pain. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. Drugs, Which is, uh, drugs and alcohol. Yeah. Um, and I was just trying to numb all my pain from everything else. I didn't want to think about Which anything Which is understandable. Else. People yes. will self-medicate. Absolutely. When was your breaking point of, I can't do that anymore? And I, because you can run from your true self, but your true you self can. always meets you at the finish line, I, right? I, I knew it. I knew it for years and years and years and years, but um, really, Ending up in jail more than once will make you think yeah, right. some things, you know, <laughs> having to do some things. I wrote everything in my book. I can't yeah, do yeah, too yeah, much, yeah, but yeah, you know, she's got a book, I right? had yeah. to. Yes, yeah. I had to. Um, I just had to deal with it and, and get to the root of why I was drinking so much, and yeah. it made sense. Um, a lot of people are they're like, "You're not an alcoholic." They like, you know, a lot of things. It's not what you're eating; it's what's eating you. Yeah, and. Um, I truly believe that, but it was definitely, it was great for me to see things. I got to put things into perspective. Right. And I'm still a, a work in progress. I wake up every day and put one foot in front of the other. Yeah, I, well, I think all of us are always a work in progress. Yes. And if we think that we've already completed everything, oh, then, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, oh my goodness. got another surprise coming yes. there. All right, so the other thing you started to focus on is prioritizing motherhood. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I love being a mother. Uh, mm. Motherhood is one of the, ah, oh, Tito. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, my daughter is one of the best things that happened to me. I knew that life had to change. Yeah. I had to get everything together. And my daughter has been the biggest blessing um, to me in my life. And um, unfortunately, I, I lost my second daughter um, last year. And my kids keep me going. Oh, oh gosh, I gotta cry. <laughs> but, well, to lose a child is, it's, is the worst thing that could it's, ever happen it's, to a and parent. And people don't understand. They try to tell you how to grieve and like, yeah. there's no way. Right. But what you it. went through before with the drugs and alcohol, you knew how to cope better. Oh, yes, 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 yes. No, no, not, yeah. not that. And that's the whole thing. Not it, that it will way. teach you how to cope better oh, when absolutely. life hits you hard. Definitely. All right, uh, you took on a reality show. Yes, I did. The R&B Divas. Divas Atlanta. Yeah. That was an interesting um, process. Um, you know, it, yeah. it, it is <laughs> what it is. Yeah. I, you know, that editing can be something oh, else. Oh, yes. You can be, yeah. <laughs> you, like, who is that? When did I do that part of the show? Yeah, you, can, <laughs> you can be the nicest girl in the world or the meanest girl in the world by the, by the click of a button. Yeah, it, it, it's, it, was, it was interesting watching. Yeah. I just have to say that. Any regrets doing a reality show like that? Um, Therefore, every, we've had several reality stars on the show, and every single one I've spoken to says, you know, I signed up for it. I signed up for it with a vision of what I thought yes. I was going to be doing. And then there were right. no regrets. It gave me a platform, but I just know that 
I, I wish that things would have been portrayed in a different way. It doesn't. It didn't represent who I was to the fullest at all. Right. And there was too much for that to be the only thing that came out. So in that, I was disappointed. But the ladies, they, it was great to meet such you know prominent ladies in the in you know mm -hmm. in the industry. Well, you can share things that other people can't understand. Definitely. Right. Even yes. the fame thing, the not fame thing, the yes. issues, the struggles that you go through. Yes. Uh, you mentioned that you are uh, have the book. So tell us about the book. Yes. Um, my book, um, I am Latavia, is it's a memoir and it's about my everything that have it's it's about my life basically right. um it'll be a three part series to this um I am Latavia and there's um, different phases to yes. your life and different phases of who you are yes. right and th the the first one is about me the, after the breakup right. and you know my childhood and things going me with with the substance abuse and coming through that and everything I did to get through that and um it was it's really rewarding and it was hard I, I it has been like it's four, like a therapy 14 in a sense, years. Right? To put it down on paper and look at I it. I started and I had pen and paper. I didn't type it on a computer. And in the final proce process of editing, I got writer's block for like four years. Yeah. So I stopped and then I finished it really quick. And the editing phase made me realize, I started reading it and when I got to page five, I'm like, wow, I wrote this? <laughs> Girl, that's good. <laughs> and then there's gonna come the movie. So, so then, yeah. right? yeah. then I started crying and then I had to put it away for like two weeks. I couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore. I had right. to, I had to put it away. Yeah, yeah, because you, what it happens when you write it down like that is all those bad parts are all yes. together. And then when you're talking so much about yourself, my yeah. book is about me. Yeah. Um, it's about me being transparent to people wondering what had happened to me for all those 10 yeah. years that I was under my rock. And I just think that I, I tell the good, the bad, and the ugly. When mm -hmm. you hear rumors about yourself, you just want to clear up those things. Right. So my story and all the adversity that I've been through has made me who I am. Um, I don't care what people well, think about me anymore. It hurts when people say bad things, but I, it's taken me a long time to get a peace of mind. Yeah, and, and sometimes I'll tell you, we beat ourselves up yes. more, so. especially when you're in a public eye, we'll beat ourselves up and then look yes. at what people say about us. It, it really doesn't matter. So what do you say about you? Exactly. You know? Still so, hurts. Uh, your, your news, yeah, yeah, because I, I remember <laughs> I, I've gotten stuff too. I mean, it, it's crazy. Yes, I, yes, yes. I, I'm I, sure. I have been fatter than you all have wanted me to be many times. Oh my goodness. And, I, <laughs> and you let me know it. But anyway, okay. I bleach um, my skin, so I, <laughs> look, it's all kind of stuff. They oh, they said you just, oh, what? some crazy stuff. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> uh, best time of your life. Yes. That is um, a promotional um, single that I just released. Um, <laughs> thank you. I, I, I've always been the, the person that has not been that, ooh, get out and sing now. I've never uh -huh. been that person. But once EDM music started to take you know, place and there are different levels to EDM. I like the fist pumping, the happiness. I yeah. like being happy. I don't want to sing about my my heartaches and my pain. I wrote that down in a book. It's, look, it's yeah. gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the best time of your life is like you have this one night. It's fist pumping. It's high, high energy, and it's like tonight. I don't care what you do. This one time that you got, have fun, just like you like. Right. Be who you like yeah. and have the best time of your life. Be, yeah. And I just, I think that it's so important, even if it's for one night, because tomorrow might not even be promised yeah, to you. That's right, you so I just think it. that it's great. And I heard Joyce Meyer say to, to do it afraid, and it's something that, with me being here for the Dare to Aspire conference, it's something that I love, because Dare to Aspire means so much with women coming together and being who you are. So I love that I did it afraid, yeah. and it took me 14 years. and. It's been rewarding just to and conquer a are. fear. It is so good to see you again. You as well. And I'm so glad you came out of that dark cloud. Thank you. What you've done with it is you're using it to teach other people that they can come Absolutely. out of that dark cloud. Absolutely. I well. do a lot of uh, I do advocacy work a lot in Atlanta. I'm, um, an ambassador for saving our daughters, and I do a lot of um, public speaking for for young ladies because I definitely believe in that. In my lowest of lows, all I heard was to give back. So I get a lot of I get yeah. a lot of self, you know. It's a great form from of therapy. That. It yes, is. it is. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. It's obvious new single titled Best Time of Your Life is now available for download and purchase. For more information, we have a link on GreatDayHouston.com about her book as well. Up next, she's lived her life never accepting the word no. That attitude led her down a path to success she never expected. We'll show you what she did to get the attention of A-list celebrities and royalty after the break.